My name is Ben Gamble and I'm the director for Dudley Evolve, which looks after teaching and learning and also a large proportion of vocational curriculum and the managers in those areas. Okay, and just prior to taking up that new role, you were responsible for art and design? Yes, I was the centre manager for art and design and media. So I oversaw a relatively big art and design and media department with around about 28 staff. And when did you join the college? I joined the college in 2008, in April. Okay, and you, when you came in, the department had uh, just been through an Ofsted inspection and got a... Uh, Grade 2, I think, which was good. Which was good, yes. But when you read the report, a lot of what they were doing was actually more like outstanding, but they were only getting good. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just interested in what you did in that period of time when you came into the college that then turned them into outstanding. Um, I think the first thing was their their mindset. I mean, they were, they're very good staff. Um, I got on with them straight away, and I... The first thing I did is rather than put out any promises or what was what I was going to do is I just spent a couple of weeks in the classes and a couple of weeks with them just getting to know how they run their curriculum, how they run parts of the business, what the procedures and the, the things that they do are. Um, and then after that I started to look at ways to develop and change it into from going from good to outstanding. Um, one of the ways I did that is I did lots of uh, kind of talks and one-to-ones uh, -one with staff where I talked about good being the enemy of great and saying actually it's okay to be good and it's comfortable but we could do so much better and all we need to do is tweak a few things. Um, but it was important not to lose the staff when doing that. I didn't want them to feel like I was coming in as an expert with all the knowledge and I wasn't listening to them and I was just doing what I wanted to do. I needed to ensure that it was like hearts and minds that I took them with me on this journey. Um, so one of the main ways I did that for the first year, because I knew it was going to take a few years, for the first year I picked the lowest performing course in the area with the smallest recruitment which happened to be the level three in art and design uh, and I became their course tutor and I modelled what I wanted to see with that group for the department. So I changed the structure of how the assignments were written, I changed how uh, I, I taught with those students um, and, and I pushed their average grades up and the success rates and achievement weight, rates went really high and that helped me then gain the confidence of the staff so they could see that I've got a system and a model that if they work with me we can roll them out across the department and then in year two that's what we started to do. So really year one was more of a foundation year of getting to know them and them understanding that I, we have the potential to do it and then the years after that were more about putting the groundwork in and them trusting me and, and us moving towards outstanding. I can't believe that they all were prepared to trust you straight away. No. Um, some were on board straight away and some took you know, a lot of convincing. A lot of convincing. Um, and I think that's about following through with what you say. So I was very careful with those members of staff that if they were applying for certain equipment that they needed or they're asking for bigger classes or, or they're asking to develop something in some way that I would ensure that I would only say this could happen if I knew it could happen. So they knew that I wasn't just kind of throwing words out there and, and giving them empty promises but actually to win them over. We didn't manage to win everybody over. I mean, it was a sense in one point that we were saying, well, look, the bus is leaving, this is the direction we're going in. And there, for a few lectures, it was uncomfortable and they didn't feel they could make that transition. Um, but for the majority, they came, they came with me and it was, it was brilliant. What happened to the ones that didn't make the transition? Um, some of the ones that didn't make the transition, actually, they started to realise that, that education and that college is changing and maybe they'd been here a significant amount of time um, and actually they were into certain types of education and we weren't functioning in that way anymore so they looked for other possibilities either in the institution or outside as well and I helped them do that, I, I encouraged that I, you know, I said look if you're not enjoying this aspect of teaching or this change you know there are there are other things in other places that, that the way you work that'll work you know I'll help you do that but that, was, that wasn't the majority, that was the, the minority.